In this video, I'm going to share with you people combination of chat GPT, Primavera P6 and Excel. It is going to be fantastic for engineers. See, I'm going to incorporate the prompt, the requirement which I need from this chat GPT, the scope of activities. What I'm going to do, I'm going to export, import Excel data into Primavera P6. How easily we can utilize this chat GPT and Excel with Primavera P6 combination and right now I am providing one prompt to chat GPT so that I can have a combination of activity list for pipeline construction project. You can check it out that how prompt will be formulated to get high productivity response from chat GPT. Follow it and try at your side. And now after doing this, I'm going to help you people who don't have that much experience inside. So you can start from scratch level to get these tips while using chat GPT for Primavera P6 and Excel. There are many more amazing, amazing tips in this single video. So let's see that how chat GPT is generating our required data. I have already instructed to chat GPT to provide me EPC complete activities and you can do all that while using your field project data. See, I have multiple activities, but in real time, we will, will have maybe more than 100, 500 activities and you can do that experiment with those uh, hectic activity list uh, as well. So you can find the same results. So what I'm going to do next, I'm going to review one time that how it is uh, compiled by chat GPT-4 because my field experience will tell that if there is something not required, I should take care about that while guiding you people. So see, I'm going to copy it and uh, there is one Excel sheet open already in the back end of my uh, laptop. So I'm going to take this data to copy paste in that Excel sheet just for the sake of, uh, you know, uh, concept, understanding, developing the thing that how we can start our planning scheduling from scratch level. That's why I'm using chat GPT and here I have copy paste this uh, Excel uh, activity list and uh, little bit uh, formatting you require to access complete description of activities. Okay, that's fine. Now what I will do next, scrolling down, checking it out. Okay, that's fine. Everything is okay. Now I'm going to share with you people uh, back on Primavera P6. I'm going to open uh, here one a new project. Always make a new project file and uh, no need to add anything. Just add one single activity at the start to perform this step. Okay, that's what I have done right now. And now you have to go into the export. See, export option from file. You can access it. And uh, once you will click, this window will be given to you. Spreadsheet option is for you. And next, and it will ask you, okay, activities is my priority. Click on this export button. Next. Here you will find different kind of column available options. Just go to the modify and just view one time that how many options you will be given. Okay, that are all required one columns. Make sure you have all that setting. Okay, if something is missing, you can import from the other side of this. Okay, next. And remember where you are going to save this file. Don't, it's not like that you forget, oh, where is gone. So remember that. So next finish, it's done. So now I'm going to track where this file has been saved and I'm going to open that one. So just give me a moment. I'm just uh, searching it out on the back end of my computer. So here it is. See, this is my project name and it is generated by Primavera P6. So here we are going to open this file and uh, I'll make double click on it. And uh, you can see after it will show up. Don't worry. So step by step, just uh, note down all these things. It will help you a lot. And here is my file. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, see all these things will, uh, one single activity I has already created in my Primavera P6. And that activity is already here. See, and uh, this column, activity column, I have to fill up with my chat GPT generated activities because I want easy to go with my activity loading in Primavera P6. I'm going to copy all this list and uh, I'm going to shift all these activities on the 
exported sheet uh, from Primera Basics. So I have copied now all along with other columns. You have to spread it out, fill down with the same data. Activity ID column is done. Now I'm going to for another column, one by one. Every column you have to follow the same step. Like uh, right now I'm doing the same way. You see how I'm going to drag it down to fill all the things okay and uh, next one same thing all columns should be filled down in the same pattern whatever information has been given on the top row you have to fill it down till the end uh, last row of this uh, you know sheet and uh, here we are this is original duration it will give you one add by the previous uh, row but you can go by your you know original duration as well as so now one by one we will do that uh, filling down of all these columns and once it's done close this file save it before closing save it it's uh, very important to do and then again in primavera p6 i will go into the file this time i have to click on import and uh, spreadsheet next and where it is uh, in my computer i have to access that uh, okay this one okay open and then next activities okay next this will ask me for my project in which i want to incorporate this one so obviously this project which is already open next finish and uh, see all these magical things are happening over here all those activities which i have created by chat gpt incorporated in uh, primavera p6 exported file are already on my dashboard it's magical thing so write down in a comment box area and uh, give me your feedback now next i can ask primavera p6 how i need to divide all this activity list into my wbs so this is another thing chat gpt is going to help me out so i'm writing i'm actually incorporating the prompt in chat gpt that give me wbs uh, categories for the above activity list so it is going to give me design procurement construction so we have to copy that as well in primavera p6 how to do that i'm going to help you in this regard it's going to be amazing more amazing because it's going to help you to understand how project scheduling is going to be very interesting amazing and easy to go see all these activities are best adjusted in the concerning wbs given by chat gpt and you see there is a design phase procurement construction and now i'm going to generate all these wbs in my primavera p6 in manual way so how to do that i will be sharing with you people primavera p6 dashboard again and here we are so this time i'm trying to actually renumbered all these activity ids so how to do that this is very simple select all your activities renumbered activity id go for these um, simple steps it's very simple i'm going from a project name uh, id starter see and it's changed it's very simple and now i'm going to make wbs in wbs window in very manual way and here is my first engineering art design phase and uh, see design phase i'm going to make copy paste and i will incorporate this one here and then procurement procurement will be on the second uh, category of my this project as per chat gpt uh, suggested wbs in for this activity list and then the third one is construction phase so what i'm going to do is really amazing thing going to happen actually so now these three phases have already developed and activity window is already showing me these three WBS. Let me show you. See, refresh to align your WBS uh, categories. See, design, procurement, construction is aligned in green color at the same level. Now I'm going to make, I have common sense, this much designing phase activities. Cut these activities and paste these activities into your design phase. See? And then procurement activities, cut these activities, select first, shift button, and uh, this much. Okay, this much activities belongs to my procurement phase. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to make copy paste, not copy paste, cut. If you have multiple identical WBS for different kind of things, copy paste. Because you are going to use multiple times these same set of activities. So this time I need to make uh, copy, cut. And here I'm going to fill it out in the construction phase and boom, 
my project is ready with the help of excel few amazing tips chat gpt preparing how to ask chat gpt and primavera p6 it's going to be very amazing thing so write down in comment area and give me your feedback that how was that tip and how did it help you to incorporate your laborious hectic data into primavera p6 so if you want to learn primavera p6 you can write down in the video comments as well my team will contact you